Okay, this is the afternoon session, uh, Wednesday, July 8th, 2015, at the Keshe Foundation Spaceship Institute. This is a special session. Mr. Keshe has an announcement to make, and uh, this is on a special channel that we just set up called Government in Interventions. And I think we'll find out why it's called that after we hear from Mr. Cash. Well, uh, yes, yes, good afternoon, good day to you, wherever and whenever you listen to this program. We are slightly, but an hour late, but there is a good reason for it. As you know, we've been explaining to a lot of people for a long time how the Cash Foundation packages, postages, and anything which goes on flight or handled by DHL gets intercepted, damaged, or stolen. What we have is not only DHL, we have case. These are the number of books which has been stolen from Cash Foundation by the Belgian authorities over past just less than a year. Runs into thousands and thousands of euros of books sitting in Central Bank Post Office of Belgium and some with collaboration of DHL. And a lot of books have gone missing, which we have paid thousands of euros for, never arrived. People complain, you are crooks, we are stealing goods, where DHL actually gets paid to steal. They get paid to steal goods from Cash Foundation to the benefit of the Belgian government. When we said this, everybody said we are wrong. There is something wrong with Cash Foundation. As you know, Cash Foundation in past two years, three years, has spent nearly 200,000 euro on servers to have the most advanced servers and programs to back it for security. Due to moving from Belgium to Italy, we moved the servers. I informed our security people told us that the Belgian government is waiting to steal the servers on the way. If literally go inside, download the data, and then chip, put a microchip that they can come in and monitor everything they want to know to use against or damage the foundation. We have paid, we have invoices, bank details, bank transfers. We have paid over 6,000 euro to ship two servers from Holland to Italy, and we were waiting a month and a half. Wins, do you know when they were supposed to arrive? How far you spoke with the service center a week ago? Yeah, it was uh, it was about a month ago that uh, that they left the the place something like they that. They left Holland a month ago to get to Italy, and we have paid six thousand euro that they be driven, they be delivered in a special way. Servers each one cost thousands of thousands of euros with a program inside them that cost tens of thousands of euros. And this is what we have received for 6,000 euro of shipment cost. Bent, broken boxes, and that's two servers, and this is another one. We've been asked by the center to video this fully because they want to watch it. And if you look, this is how we received it, and a leg of a server is sticking out. It's been fully unpacked, damaged. They've told us to open it in public that you can see, and it shows how DHL collaborates with government to defraud. So this thing has not left hand of DHL. We said for a long time DHL has been stealing materials from the foundation and other people. So now we see a month and a half, 6,000 euro gives you a package like this from DHL, and they pay for it. We have invoices, what we have paid. Would you like to bring the camera forward? Hello, bring the camera in. Can you, yeah, bring the camera with you? Yeah. We're gonna show you how it's been handled by HL, tens of thousands of euros of goods, they work for governments to destroy assets of the companies 
who they are told to. This is a well-organized criminal organization by DHL. We are not the only one. And now you can see how they ship a vacuum pack. This was vacuum packed. According to the shipping company, according to the service center, they never seen such a thing. We are not going to do anything. We just open it as it is. You will see what we have received. Yeah? We lost the audio there, Mr. Cash. Leave the box there. Leave the box. Leave video, the box. Sorry, video. Can you see the video? Video. Yeah, I can hear you. No problem. Wait one second. It's coming there we back. Go. Back again. <laughs> Can you hear us? Yes. Okay. The video camera comes back on. Is it? Is the cameraman ready? No? Yes? Okay. What we've done is we, we had to stop because of the loss of battery. So now what I want you to see, uh, the cameraman can show you. You Would you like to come in and see how DHL transports your goods? Would you like to come and have a look? This is how DHL transport servers worth tens of thousands of euros. We have not touched it. We will not touch it. This has been opened, has been damaged. This is another part of how they Mr. work. This is DHL carrying, charging thousands of euros. Can I, can I interrupt and you for a sec? This is how they carry people's properties on the instruction of Belgian government. Can you lift that up and place it in your hands flat, please? I want to see if it's bent. You see, the number in the back has been tampered with. You see it is ripped. This is a code, the number of the system. They have tampered with. You see here, the whole thing has been damaged, tampered. They try to download the property of the foundation what has been on the server for months. We paid for a vacuum transportation, and this is what I get out of vacuum pack. So now you see how we've been telling you how we have received. And this is the frame. These are the other frames inside it. Yeah, those, are, those are the legs that attach to the, the center itself to keep that uh, yeah. in its proper position. So we have received there. We paid 6,000 euro to... DHL has been paid to deliver by direct, and then this is the end of the box. So Belgium government has taken the servers, they've downloaded whatever they wanted to download, they have put a chip inside the computer, and they send it out. So this um, server has been chipped by the Belgium authorities. This is what they do. This is the work of the Hans Brackenian IMAC. They are specialists in this job. So when we say we have evidence of corruption, stealing by DHL, runs in thousands of dollars, you don't receive your goods, is because we have not, they have stolen. They steal, they hold hundreds of thousands of euros of books of the Cash Foundation, tens of thousands of materials to discredit. This is the vacuum pack sent by the server. You can see even the damaged. I can tell already the that front one's damaged. is damaged. You see it's totally damaged. Yep. The and that's, is totally damaged. Pardon? that's where all the information is stored on that one right there. Pardon? I said that's where all the information is stored on that one right there. Yeah, you and see yes, it's damaged. What they've done, you see the back is open. Yeah. They have gone into the server, they chipped it, and they have sent it through to see what they can download. This is a stealing by DHL collaborating for criminal activities. You see the server is fully open. The server has totally opened. So what they would have done, just, to, just for everybody's information, is that uh, they would have taken all the information off there. And the, 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 what they're trying to do is they're trying to get the new information that we put on there. So don't think that uh, they're just trying to bug it to get the information that's already on there. That's already been uh, tampered with. 
Um, it's so the new information that they want. It's all damaged. Numbers have been tampered with. We don't know if this is the even original computer we shipped it. So it's not in a vacuum pack. This is how things come. This is how DHL has become part of the criminal organization in Europe. They do, if I was you and you work with DHL, never bother to give them simple thing. These servers I have paid personally, we can give documents. We have paid over 200,000 euro for servers and the programs and the security with them. And this is what 200,000 euro worth to, what do you call it? DHL. Stealing, destroying, and you can see the server has arrived open. It means already chipped. The, Mr. Hans Brackini, the head of the European Space Agency director, heads IMAC, the Central Intelligence of Belgium. And he monitors everything, all our telephone calls and everything, because he's a pedophile. And now he's trying to find how he can do it. The strange thing is, two weeks before this, they asked Willy De Leo to submit his computer that they go through it. He refused. And suddenly, Mr. Delano, police of Belgium, disappeared after the request. Because they found out we are moving our servers, they could get to the servers. Why do they need one of the people who have been supporting the foundation? And suddenly everything is stopped. We have filed a case against that. But you see, harassing cash foundation by King of Belgium never stops. But this is the responsibility of DHL showing they work with criminals. This cannot be done by a driver of DHL. It's done at the highest level in DHL. They're organized thieving because they know who's transporting, not the driver. They know what is going on, and DHL works with the criminals in the governments, and so we will not use these servers. I request and we put a crime against DHL and the server house if this is how they give people servers back. I have paid everything recorded, thousands of euros, and this is a vacuum pack we have received. Do you want to see this is inside? Have a look. You want to see this is how the server looks. This is how you send goods with DHL. If I was you, I won't send a pack of shit with DHL because they can't, they might eat it, but they won't deliver it. So I think we saw, as I was saying, the end of Hanam with Lucky Hit. What happened? I think a lot of business people should think twice to send anything with DHL. We put this live on tube. This is how they look after your goods. Any documents you said they photocopy because we know we have piles of books which are stolen. We know it to discredit the, uh, the foundation. We have piles of material delivered through DHL which never arrives and people call us fraud because DHL steals them. Systematic stealing by DHL has become part of the function. So now we give this directly there are a number of people, I'm not alone. We have two, four, six people from four nationalities here, five nationalities, the cameraman. So we have seven, eight people, witnesses, who are sitting and watching this one. So if you want to go any further, if you claim cash foundation is stolen, your books or your books, materials doesn't get delivered, DHL steals them. We know there's over 400 books sitting in Central Station and Post Office of Belgium because it's ordered by the king to stop the discredit, then they can start criminal action. 